it's been roughly a year since I first did a video on this, and I'm sad to report that, yes, it's still an issue. If you're partaking in the biker business bonuses this week, you may want to know that if you decide to perform a resupply mission for your clubhouse, which I don't necessarily recommend, and I'll get to why in a moment, the resupply van is still broken. It boggles the mind that something so seemingly simple to fix is still an issue. And this isn't just a case of being frustrated because a part of this game is broke. We all know this game is broken. I think what's driving people crazy is the areas of this game that affect Rockstar's bottom dollar, i.e. in-game money, are fixed and patched almost immediately. But the areas of this game that affect the players' in-game money, i.e. trying to source supplies in a glitched out van, well, those don't really get fixed. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into the brokenness of this van. I've already covered this in previous videos. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably already have a pretty good idea of the what, how, and when this occurs. It's more like, how do I fix this damn thing so I can drive it? Well, today, that's what we're going to do. But instead of just providing you my own personal favorite fix, I'm also going to be trying out additional methods that you, the viewers, have sent my way. Today, I'm going to be trying out some of the fixes that others have provided in my comment section just to see if there are different alternative methods to fix the wonky wagon. All right, so let me just get this out of the way first. If you're brand new to the MC business, you've just purchased the clubhouse and are now wondering if you should perform the resupply missions, my answer to you is no, you should not. There's other way more profitable ways of accumulating money in this game and the clubhouse resupply missions are at the very bottom of this list. Not to mention that now when you throw in the fact that the vehicle used in these missions is broke, yeah, not something I would recommend. However, if you decide to do these resupply missions, my biggest tip here is to utilize your cargo bob, if you have one that is. And yeah, I know it's going to be slower, but you're basically eliminating any NPCs coming after you and you won't have to immediately fix the wonky wagon. And I say immediately because depending on how close to your clubhouse you drop the van off, you're still going to have to drive it to the waypoint. And as a side note, delivering the van with a cargo bob will not cure this issue. But if you deliver it close enough to your clubhouse, it's not going to be that much of a bother. Okay, on to the fixes. I'll first be going over my method and then I'm going to be trying out three of the top fixes that people have been commenting on. These three are, number one, close the doors in the back of the van. Number two, use your up and atomizer. And number three, back up into something, get out, and then get back in. So first, my method. This one has always worked for me on both my PS5 and my PC. It's pretty simple really, once you get in and feel the van begin to do its dance of joy, simply accelerate, gain enough speed, which is hard, I know, and then ram into something, a building, a telephone pole, head on with another car, anything that's going to provide immediate resistance. As you're seeing, this is especially difficult if you're trying to do it in the rain. My one big piece of advice here is don't travel far and try to do this in a small contained area where you pick up the van. Otherwise, you'll begin to get the waves of enemy NPCs. After doing this, the van will magically regain its footing and you can then drive it around like any other normal vehicle. Don't worry about the damage indicator in the lower right of the screen. Even if you drop the van off and the bar is showing red, you're still going to receive the full amount of supplies. Okay, on to the other methods. First up is the method of shutting the back doors of the van. Now, I've heard this method before and it always kind of puzzled me because I didn't think they were actually shuttable if that's even a word. The other thing about this method is that it's not very clear as to when you want to shut the doors. So as you're seeing here, as soon as I arrived, I just immediately went to the back of the van and tried closing one of the doors with no luck. I'm trying at different angles and trying to push the door shut as best I can, I guess, but nothing's happening. 
So thinking that you might need to get in the van first, this is what I do. I break into the van, the two individuals at the back make a run for it, and then I immediately get out again to try and shut the back doors. But just like before, I'm having zero luck. You can see here, they always just bounce back. But not one to give up, I next try to get in the van and drive around a little. And what's interesting here is that you can see the doors glitch a little and then after getting out of the van, the rear doors automatically close and are now shut. Boom, done, great success, right? Well, not really. With the doors visibly shut, I get back into the van and yeah, we're now in wonky wagon mode. The rear wheels are off the ground and the chaos begins. Okay, so for me, trying to shut the rear doors is not a viable option. Okay, next up, we're going to try the up and atomizer method. Now, in my previous video I made on this topic, I actually tried this method and was unsuccessful. However, the comment I read specifically stated that you need to shoot the van exactly two times. No more, no less. So maybe it's the number of times you need to shoot it. With this helpful bit of knowledge secretly tucked away, this is what I try to do. I shoot the van exactly two times and then jump back in. Again, no luck. We're still in wonky wagon mode and so far I'm not having much luck with these other methods. We can now, at least for me, eliminate the up and atomizer method. All right, so now it's down to the last method, driving backwards against something, getting out, and then getting back in. And I must admit, this one definitely seems promising. Simply because if it works, it's probably gonna be a little quicker for the simple fact you don't have to accelerate, per my method, which takes a lot of effort if you only have what amounts to half a wheel touching the ground. But alas, this isn't exactly the case. I wasn't sure if it was even possible, but for me, backing up is actually more of a pain than trying to drive forward. Trying to get traction in this thing is definitely a struggle. So as you're seeing, I'm trying to back up into the wall, but I end up against this pillar or post. Only the corner of the van is touching when I try to get out and then get back in again. And when I get back in, I'm still experiencing the wonky wagon effect. So I get back in and decide to give it one more shot. My goal here is to get the whole back of the van flush with the wall. So the entire rear of the van is against something solid instead of just the corner. So now after painfully navigating this thing back against the wall, where the whole back of the van is touching, the result, success. I get back in and a wonky wagon is suddenly transformed back into normal van mode. But before I call it a day, I wanted to perform one last resupply mission just to make sure the backing up method wasn't a fluke. This one was done at night, so it's a little harder to see, but my goal here again is same as before. I'm gonna reverse the van until the entire back end is touching something solid. You can see here that I'm squaring the rear of the van directly into the wall behind me. After, of course, I break through this flimsy little fence. With the back end of the van pressed hard against the shed, I get out, I get back in again, and voila, the wonkiness is now gone. So there you have it. If you decide to perform the clubhouse resupply missions this week and want a fail-safe method to unwonkify the van, you now have at least two options. Drive forward fast enough into something, or with a very helpful tip from one of my viewers, just back up into something, get out, and then get back in. Both relatively easy, and considering the driving characteristics of the van, both relatively quick. All right, so that's it, my friends. Thank you for watching. As always, if you like this video and want to help out, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, and let me know what you think. Are any of you out there actually going to be performing the MC resupply missions this week? Or do you know of any additional fixes that work for you? If so, drop a comment below and let everyone know. Until next time, be happy, be well, be safe, be my TV, the one. Maestro.